Hi, hello, good morning. This is Teacher Marvin, your English teacher. And today is Friday. Okay, so it's 27th day of August. Now, so this morning, our subject is science. All right, so this morning we were going to have only a review. We are going to talk about what, uh, what we talked before in science. We have a different uh, parts in science. We are talking about the parts of the plant and what are the main functions of the different parts of the plants and what are those common plants. And of course, the last one is we also talk about the different habitats of the plants, where the plants can be able to live in a soil, the water, or in the plants, okay? So this morning, we were going to have only a review because after this, I was going to give you a question, a, a test, rather I say, and you have to answer in Google form, okay? So are you ready? All right. So if you are ready, so let's start with our lesson here. Okay, so I hope you you've learned uh, you've learned a lot uh, about the different parts of the plants, and then because this morning is we're about to to end this chapter because by the next meeting we will have another chapter. Okay, so. Um, Let's start with our lesson here. Okay, so welcome to primary one, the English program. And our subject this morning is science. And we are going to talk about plants. Okay, we're just focused about the plants. And take note, this is the last meeting. This is the last topic for our plants because Next week, we will enter in the next uh, topic, which is about, uh, I'm not sure if maybe the continuation of about ourselves or maybe your other topic, okay? So let's talk about the parts of a plant, okay? So what are those parts of a plant? Can you remember? Okay, so let's start with this one. So this is a plant and we have what we called the flower. We have the leaf, we have also the fruit, we have the stem, and the last one is the root. Okay, let me show you the different parts of a plant. Okay, who among you can remember uh, the this part of a plant. What do we call this part of a plant? Okay, very good. We call it as flower. How do we spell the word flower? So it's F-L-O-W-E-R. Everybody say flower. Okay, very good. Okay, the next part of the plant is what we called. What do you call this part of a, a plant? All right, so we call it as leaf. If only one, it's leaf. But if more than one, it will be leaves. Okay, so leaf. Again, everybody say leaf. All right, now, the next part of the plant. What do you call this part of the plant? I'm so sorry if the picture is not uh, so much clear. All right, so we call it as fruit, fruit. Everybody say fruit, okay? And another one. What do we call this part of the plant? It can be a soft 
a soft stem or a hard stem or a woody. What do we call this part? All right, so we call it as stem. And the last part of the plant, it is one of the most important parts of the plant. Uh, this part of the plant has um, number one, number one, who, who is giving a big role in the parts of the plant because without this part of the plant, the plant would not be able to grow and it will not exist. So we call it as root. Everybody say root. All right, so these are the different parts of the plant. So we have the flower, leaf, fruit, stem, and the root. Now, this time, let's proceed to our different parts of the plant and their functions, okay? We are going to talk about the different parts of the plant and what are their functions. Okay, let's start here. Okay, first, plants is like a human beings. Plants also have a different part, okay? So we were going to discuss the different functions of the main functions of the different parts of the plants. So these parts of the plants help them to grow, survive, and to reproduce. And what are those different parts of the plant? So first, before we proceed to, before we will start to review about the different, or, or the main functions of the different parts of the plants, uh, the plants has a two category. The first parts of the plant above the soil is what we call the shoot of a plant. Again, the first parts of the plant, the parts of the plant where you can be see above the soil is what we call the shoot of a plant. On the other hand, the parts of the plants that you can see below, which cannot be seen, is what we called the root of a plant. Okay, so now let's start with the different parts of the plant and what are its particular function. So when we say functions, these are the functions of the different parts of the plants which have their own functions. They help in making, distributing, and storing the food. Okay, now let's start with the leaves. Okay, leaves is one of the parts of the plant. But what is the main function of the leaves? So the main function of the leaves is to make food for the plants. Again, the main function of the leaves is to make food for the plants. Okay, so this is what we call the leaves. The black arrow pointing to a leaves. So leaves can collect sunlight and make food for the plant. Every plant has a different kind of a leaf. Again, leaves could need sunlight in order for them to make a food for the plant. And every plant has a different kind of a leaf. Okay, so some leaves can be, can be eaten and some leaves cannot be eaten. And cilantro and fenugreek leaves are one of the examples of the leaves where we can be able to eat. Okay, I know that Thai people, not only the Thai people, or even us, the foreigner, we really love to eat those herbs or what we call the uh, plants herbs, okay? So cilantro and the fenugreek leaves are one of the examples of the leaves where we can eat. Okay, so now, always remember that leaves are on the end of the stems, again, leaves are on the end of stems, okay? Now let's, part, let's uh, do have another parts of the plant, plant and 
This is what we call flowers. Flowers is one of the most colorful, colorful parts of the plant. And most of the bees, or even the hummingbirds, like to, do, to go there to visit there. Okay? So when what is the main functions of the flowers? So the main function of the flower is to reproduce. Yes, it is. Flowers can be able to reproduce because there are some seeds inside the flowers. Okay, so in this part of the plant, it shows as what we call flowers. And flowers are the parts of plants that make seeds and fruit. Flowers are colorful, so easily to attract the hummingbirds and bees. There are some insects like to visit to the flowers, but hummingbirds and bees are one of the most uh, animals who like to visit there. Okay, so I know that we, I know that we love flowers and sunflower and rose are one of the example of the flower. Now, always remember that flower are the colorful growth, growth on the stems. Again, flowers are the colorful parts of the plants that grow on the stems, okay? Now, let's have another part of the plant. The fruit and seeds. There are some fruits who don't have seeds, but most of the fruits has a seeds. And then the main function of the fruits and seeds is to protect, can reproduce, okay? So the main function of the part of this plant is to protect and reproduce, especially the fruits with seeds. It helps to protect the seeds in it inside the fruit, okay? So in this, in this plant, it should, there is a black arrow and this is what we call fruit. Okay, fruit protects seeds. They help the plants to spread the seeds out because animals are able to transport and discard seeds when they eat fruits. So always remember, uh, okay, so we have here another. So fruit, uh, there, we have uh, different kinds of fruits, okay? I know you really love to eat fruits. And eggplant and the strawberry are one of the example of the fruit. And always remember that fruit is the tasty stuff on the stem. Fruit is the tasty stuff on the stem, okay? Now, let's have another one, roots. Okay, so roots has one of the most important role in the parts of the plant. And the main function of the roots is to absorb the water and the minerals. It also holds the plants firmly to the soil. Again, the main function of the roots is to absorb the water and minerals. It also holds the plants firmly to the soil. Okay, so without roots, I think the plants would not be able to stand um, as strong. Okay, but there are some plants I don't need have I don't need to have a um, wood stem. But later on, you will know what are the different types of plants, which are the wood stem and the soft stem. Okay, so again, the main function of the roots is to absorb water and minerals. It also holds the plants firmly to the soil. Okay, so in this picture, we can see the roots here. And always remember that roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and holds the plant so it does not fall over. That's right. Okay, so again, we have a different 
a type of roots where we can also eat such as the potato and the carrot, okay? So now, always remember that roots hold the plant to the soil. Again, fruits hold the plant to the soil. Okay, so that is the end about the main. Okay, we have another one. I'm so sorry, I forgot it. Okay, stem. In this part of the plant, this is what we call the stem. Now, what is the main function of the stem? The main function of the stem is to provide and support to the leaves. Yes, that's true. Because without stem, I think it's real, really difficult for the leaves were to hold. That's why the main function of the stem is to provide support to the leaves. Now, in this picture, we can see here, we have a different leaves. Okay, so again, this is what we call just stem. Okay, so what is stem? Stem is strong and helps hold the plant. It allows water and the nutrients flow up to the leaves. Again, stem is strong and helps hold the plant. It allows the water and the nutrients flow up to the leaves. Now, what is the main function of the leaves? I mean the stem, the stem, the main function of the stem is holds the plant above the ground. It, it holds the plant above ground. So that is one of the main function of the stem. So we all know that most plants grow from a seed. Yes, because plants able to reproduce, especially the flowers and the fruits. So most plants grow from a seed. Plants need sunlight, soil, water, and air to grow. Yes, these are the things that need for the plant. So without sunlight, without soil, without water and air as well, I think it's really, really impossible uh, to make the plants to grow. So these are one of the most important parts of um, things that need for the plants, okay? Now, let's proceed to the plants with woody stem. What are the examples of the plants with a woody stem? As, as what I have said earlier, plants can be divided into two, which is the wood stem and a soft stem. Now let's talk about the wood stem. So we have some examples of the wood stems. And what are those examples? Okay, so we have the jackfruit tree. So jackfruit tree is a woody stem. And then another one is the dorian tree, or here in Thailand, if I'm not mistaken, dorian tree is also known as the king fruit, right? Okay, this is the picture of dorian. Maybe some of you don't like to eat dorian, and some of you like to eat dorian. But if you are going to ask teacher Marvin, you know what, I am so um, eager to eat dorian because uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's almost three years ago, the last time that I eat Dorian when I was in Philippines. But when I get here in Thailand, I never eat Dorian. Okay, so if you have a lot of Dorian in your backyard, maybe you can give to me one. All right? Okay, just kidding. Okay, so that is Dorian tree. Okay, another one is the mangrove tree. So this is what we call the mangrove tree. Mangrove tree is a woody stem and we can find it near the sea, okay? Now, we have another one, the rubber tree. So rubber tree is one of the common 
plants, which is woody stem. All right. So now this time, let's talk about the some plants with soft stems, which can be bent. Yes, if the woody stem not easy to bend, the soft stems can be bent. When we say bent, we can, it's uh, foldable, okay? It can be stretched, it can be bent like that. Okay, so what are those examples? So we actually, we have a lot of examples of a plants which is a soft stem or um, can be bent. So the cucumber plant is one of the soft stem because its stem is so very soft, easy to bend, okay? So the cucumber plant. And then we have another one, the banana plants. Okay, yes, banana plants considered as a soft stem because its stems is very soft, it's easy to bend. Okay, so that is what we call banana plant. Okay, so we have another one, the corn plant. The corn plant, its stem is easy to bend. It's soft stem, it has a soft stem. So that is the corn plant. And another one is, now this time we have here the different, uh, the common plant. And what are those common plants that we can see in um, different surroundings? Okay, so we have here the cactus plant. We have the grass. Grass is a plant also, okay? So we have the mango tree and we have also the sunflower plant and we have also the morning glory plant and the coconut tree and the last two is the papaya tree and the la another one is the hibiscus plant and the last but not the least is what we called the banana plant. Okay, let's take a look with the pictures and uh, let us identify what, uh, what kind of plants is this. Okay, so this is what we called what plant? It's a cactus plant. Yes, cactus plant is one of the common plants here in the earth, okay? There are some people like to, uh, like to take care of the cactus, but actually cactus plant uh, rich in water. That's why cactus plant is one of the common plants who is capable to live and survive uh, in the des desert, okay? Because of its uh, body, which has a lot of water, all right? Okay, another one, the one of the common plants is what we call the coconut tree. Yes, coconut tree is has a woody stem, okay? But coconut tree is very, one of the common plants, especially here in Asia. Even in the Philippines, coconut tree is so very essential because the every parts of the coconut tree has its use. It's very useful for us. Okay, so we have another one here. The mango tree. Mango tree is one of the common plant. Okay, do you like to eat mango? Kamsai, you like to eat mango, Kamsai? Yes, of course. <laughs> All right. Okay, now let's do have another one. The papaya tree, yes. Pap papaya tree here in Thailand is very, uh, very useful. Uh, it's very in demand because we used to eat papaya tree, especially if we are going to order sometime, right? Okay, so sometimes would not be delicious without papaya. Okay, so one of the ingredients of the sometime is papaya fruit. Okay, but now papaya tree is one of the common plants here in Thailand. Not only here in Thailand, but all over the Asia. Okay, now we have another one. Banana tree, banana tree. Do you like to eat banana fruit? 
Yes, Teacher Marvin really loved to eat banana fruit. Okay, so that is, so banana tree has a soft stem. Okay, so that is banana tree. Okay, if you have, uh, you have, if you have an abundant banana uh, fruit, maybe why not to visit your in school and try to, to send for us. <laughs> All right, now, grass. Grass is one of the most common plant that exists here in the world, okay? So actually, grass has also a purpose because it helps to balance the ecosystem. Grass has, a, has an important role here in the world because it helps to balance the ecosystem, okay? So grass, it also pr uh, produce a fresh air actually. So this is what we call grass. Okay, so we have the sunflower plant. So sunflower plant is one of the common plant in the world, all right? So I know you love sunflower because it's a it's a very uh, look as uh, looks so good it's refreshing to our eyes and it's so very colorful and sunflower is one of the common flower where the bees like to visit okay so the uh, how this one the hibiscus plant so hibiscus plant actually Hibiscus plant has a lot of variety. It has a different colors. Okay, so another common plant is the morning glory plant. The morning, morning glory plant is also a common plant. It also, you can make it as a decoration inside your house or maybe outside of your house because of its color. You see that it's so it's so very colorful. Okay, so now the last one is we will talk about the habitats of the plants. I, again, well, we will talk about the plant habitat. So we have a different um, habitat. If the animals has an has a habitat, the plants has also habitat. Again. Habitat is the place where a living thing lives. A different plants live in a different habitat. And what are those habitat? The plants can live on land such as in the garden. And what are those plants who can live in the garden? We have the flower. And also we have another one or even the different vegetables. Yes, it can live in the garden, and garden is this uh, it, uh, can be called as a habitat which is soil. All right, okay. So we have another one. Plants can live on land such as in the field. Okay, yes. What are those examples of the plants who can live in the field? So do you have idea what are those? Can you give me one example? Yes, we have the corn plant. Corn plants can live in the field. It can, it can live, uh, it can grow in the small area, but most of the corn, the corn needs a wide, a huge place. And that is what we call field. And another one, uh, plants who can live in the field is the fruit such as, the watermelon. Watermelon need a, need a big space of soil. All right? Okay, so plants that live on other plants. Can you imagine what plants who can live on other plants? Because plants is a plant, but how, how come that plants can live on other plants? I already give it to you the last meeting about the different habitats of the plants. Okay, so 
what are those examples of the plants who can live on plants? So we have here two examples, and this is what we call the orchid plant. Orchid plant, it's a flower. Yes, orchid plants can, can live on other plants such as in the tree, okay? Now, the last one is we have what we call the staghorn fern. Not only the staghorn fern, but most of the fern can live on land, can live on plant. In which plant? Of course, in the tree, okay? So that's why we called it as plants that live on other plant. Now, let's do have another. Some plants live in or on the water, such as pond. Yes, there are some plants who are capable to live on pond. We are talking about the water. Okay, plants live on the pond. And what are those examples? So this is one of the most common plants who can live in the pond. And that is the water lilies. Water lilies is one of the most common plants who can live in the pond. And another one is what we call the water lithos. Okay, the water lithos can also live in the pond. Okay, now another one is what we call some plants live in or on the water such as lake. Can you imagine what plants can live on the lake? Okay, let's find out. Okay, this is one of the common plants who live in the lake, and that is what we call the lotus plant. Okay, so we have another one, the fragrance water lily. The fragrance water lily is one of the plants who can live in the lake. And now I realized that here in Thailand, lotus plant and water lily, we you have a, you have an abundant a lotus and water lily plant here in Thailand. You, we, you are so lucky, you know, because in Philippines, uh, just not too much, but here in Thailand, you have abundant of lotus and water lily plant. Okay, so that's it. And then we have another one. Some plants live in or on the water such as the sea. Okay, so these are the plants that what we call um, um, yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so these are the plants that who can live in the sea? Okay, so this is what we call the seaweed. And what we call the kelp. Seaweed can be eat, okay? And the kelp, it helps to feed the fish, especially those big fish. Okay, they like to eat these plants. Okay, so yeah, um, I remember now it's an aquatic plant. Okay, or maybe aside of the aquatic plant, it's a marine plant. Yes, that's the perfect term. It's a marine plant. Most of the marine animals like to eat this plant which is kelp and seaweeds. There are a lot of farmers like to, to grow, uh, like to plant a uh, seaweed because uh, it has a lot of vitamins, especially when we are going to eat this, rich in vitamins, especially vitamin A. Okay, so those are the um, marine plant. Okay, and the last one we have also is some plants live in the swamps. Okay, so one of the most common plants who live in the swamps is the mangrove tree. Okay, so that's it. So now I hope 
uh, I hope you uh, you will not forget uh, about the plants, about the important of the importance of plants, and what are the different parts of the plants. And I hope that you you won't forget about what what is the diff, uh, what is the main function of the different parts of the plants and what are those common plants here especially here in asia and then or even here in thailand and please do not forget also to remember about the different habitats of the plants okay so again this is teacher marvin thank you so much for having here and i hope you enjoy with our lesson so that's all for today. Thank you so much. Have a good day and sawadee ka. Bye-bye.